Hey everyone, welcome to the next episode of our web design tutorial series. I am Michal from mdbootstrap.com and today I will teach you how to create this. Fancy SVG shapes used as a video background here in the hero section and image background in the cards below. Designing with SVG can give your design extraordinary look and a lot of originality. This is definitely one of my favorite web design trend. By the way, it's of course fully responsive, so you can see it works perfect on different screen size, even on mobile. But before we start, a small request. If you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and leave us a comment. It will help us grow and create more valuable tutorials for you in the future. And now, without further ado, let's jump into the code. In this tutorial, I will use Material Design for Bootstrap, which is a free library that greatly extends the capabilities of regular Bootstrap and provides many useful features, like for example, better look, additional components, free templates, and even a free hosting for your projects. To download Material Design for Bootstrap, go to mdbootstrap.com and click big blue Get Started button. Then click big red Download button, and unzip the package. Then open it in your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. To launch MD Bootstrap project, you need to open it in the browser. You can do it simply by dragging and dropping index.html file into the browser window. If you use Visual Studio Code Editor, you can also install extremely useful extension called Live Server. It enables a live reload feature, so it will refresh the browser anytime you change anything in your code, so you don't need to do it manually. At the beginning, let's remove an existing content of index.html, so that we have an empty canvas ready to start new project. Select everything in between the Start your project here comments, Remove it and save the file. Now we are ready to start our work. We'll start by creating a header. Go to mdbootstrap.com and in the search box type headers. And here in the background image section, slightly below, we'll find an example with an image set as a background with CSS. Let's copy this code and let's paste it to our project and after saving the file we should see it in the browser. Next we need an SVG shape and to get one we'll use this free tool get wave. So we will change an options here here to have a sharp edges and here to decrease the number of an angles and let's click this button until we get a shape that we like. Well, this one looks okay. Next, we simply click this button and we can just copy this code and we should paste it inside of this div with a background image. So here, just just um, uh, above the closing div tag, we'll paste this and here we can see our SVG shape. Now we need to add a few classes to SVG element. So let's add class attribute and then we want to position absolute and we will need a style attribute and align this SVG to left 0 and bottom 0 as well. And here in a path element instead of this blue color let's change it to white. It already looks okay but let's make it even better and replace this static image 
with a video. So we'll have a video background with this SVG shape. So here, let's remove this style attribute with a background image. And below this opening div tag, let's create a video and a source tags inside. See on source. And we'll need a few classes here. Position absolute because we want to fill this background here. Absolute and in the source I will use a video I've prepared before but you can of course use whatever video you like. Let's add a type video mp4 and now we'll need to add few more classes and style to adjust the video to our hero image, hero container I meant. So to the video element, we'll add style attribute with minimum width 100% and minimum high 100% as well. And we'll align it to the left and to the top. And we'll need a few more attributes to make it no, to make it um, play actually. So play in line, auto play, muted and loop. To play as infinite loop and here you can see our video is um, now it's just playing so we can see it and that's it about video as you can see it's already responsive so it nicely adjusts when we when we change the size of the window so now we can move further by the way by decreasing the alpha channel value here in the mask, you can decrease or increase the contrast in the hero image. So if we change this to 0, 1, it's much lighter, but in the same time it's less visible. And if, if we change this to 0, 9, it's almost, the, almost black. So I think 0, 7 was perfect. But you can manipulate it depending on your video and on your content on this video. Next, let's take care of cards. Here below the header, I'm creating main section and inside of the main, I will create a container and a bootstrap grid with three, uh, three columns inside. So we need a row and below we need call md4 duplicated two more times. Now let's go back to mdbootstrap.com and in the search box type cards and here in the basic examples we'll use this image with ripple so we have image with this nice ripple effect very typical for mdbootstrap. So let's copy this example and let's paste it to the first column and I think it will be a good idea to add some additional margin bottom to the header so we'll have more space between header and our hero image and cards below so let's add class mb5 or even mb6 alright now let's go back to our hero section and let's copy SVG element and now we can paste it here inside of BG image class below 
a element. And as you can see, this SVG was applied to the image. So to change the shape of this, we can go back to our online tool, get wave, and let's change it to some fancy shape like this. And now we need only, only the path and actually this the attributes so we can copy this it's a long path and let's replace this with the path we just copied it looks really nice so now we can copy our card two more times to the second and to the third column and let's use other shapes. And one more time. We can also, well, I think it's too much. Yeah. Maybe something like this. a bit better so we can also change um, we can also change um, uh, the images so of course you can use the images you like i'll use the images i prepared before and there is small bug that we should fix so when you click on the image you will see this ripple effect but if you try to click this here, slightly below, you will see that our SVG shape block, block, uh, block is blocking us from clicking the image. Well, actually, it works when you click this, but you cannot see uh, this cursor typical uh, for uh, clicking things. So we can easily fix this by setting a higher Z index to the mask than to SVG. So in our style, let's type card and mask and let's set Z index to, let's say 10. And now it works as expected. So in the same time, you can see everything is responsive but there are things we can improve so on the mobile there is no bottom space uh, there is no bottom space between the cards so we can easily fix this by adding margin bottom four to each of the column And yes, now it's okay. And there is one more thing. I like to have a bit more space between columns on large screens. So we can use GX. Uh, let's, let's use LG class um, to apply this only on large screens. Mm, and a value 5. So now you can see we have bigger space between our cards but it disappear on a mobile of course because then the cards stacks one below another and i've noticed we have a similar bug here in our hero section 
our buttons aren't clickable right now and if we inspect this element that's because SVG element overlaps the buttons but if we increase slightly the height of our background uh, image to let's say 75 now it works as expected and the same on smaller screens by the way if you want you can also decrease or increase the roundness of the corners in the card and also change the intensity of the shadows simply by using different shadow utilities so for example let's use shadow 5 and rounded 5 or 7 or whatever you like but I will use the default settings by the way did you know that thanks to MD Bootstrap you can use free hosting for your projects we call it MDB Go and it's really great visit mdbgo.com for more information in the description of this video you'll also find a link to the detailed tutorial on how to use MDB Go hosting and how to install MDB CLI which is a fantastic and free supporting tool that provides many useful functionalities. Now, let me just show you how easy it is to publish our newly created project on the internet thanks to MDB Go. I already have MDB CLI installed on my computer, so now all I need to do is to run my terminal and then I need to enter the path of the project I want to upload. So here is the directory where we have downloaded the MDB package and where we have been working during this tutorial. So let me just copy this path and let's enter this. And now I need to type only a single command MDB publish and I will choose NPM package manager and then all I need to do is to choose a name for my project. I will name it fancy SV G shapes and then click enter and accept all other options and after a few seconds our project is available at this link so let's see if it works as expected and yes it does super fast and extremely useful and that's it for this video let me know in the comments if you found it useful don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join our Facebook group. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.